fish, fish and fish, guys. Welcome back to another wonderful episode of the Sengang City, guys. We are currently at the very fishy fish market. And something fishy is going on at the fish market. And by Anna's request, we are going to investigate what this fishy fishy fish is. Was it here that we had to be previously? I do not remember at all. Yeah, we need to go straight there. I say, let's start walking. Am I looking into the right direction? Am I looking to the right direction? I am. Uh, yeah, we'll just walk. We'll just walk. Guys, how are you doing? Are you having a good day? Are you having an amazing and wonderful and splendid day, guys? Hope you are. Hope you will. Hope you will have... Hey, hey, stop. Oh, oh, chill. I got a gun. I got a gun. I got a gun. Stop fighting. Dude, I got a gun. Hey. I know, you're afraid of cameras, aren't you? You don't understand the gunpoint? There we go. There we go. Oh, no, no, what the fuck? The joke was a joke, was a joke. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He fucking, oh, he just blasted me. I'm almost dead. What in the freaking neighborhood am I? What the hell? Please. Was pure by accident. I didn't want to kill him. No, 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 no. I wanted to smack the other guy. Oh, what a bad beginning. Oh my god. Oh my god, I killed a dude. And I got blasted by a dude. Oh no. What a freaking beginning. Okay. Um, okay. Let's say the camera is the best weapon. Then they will probably stop. Let's not point our gun at anyone anymore, shall we? This is definitely it. Wow, what is this called? Look, the shells. Oh yeah, the shells are not a fun place to be at all. Anything secret is here? No, god damn it, guys. We're almost still there. Ah, I gotta heal up some more. Are they rubbing against someone? This is a free... This is no man's land. This is free for all. You better... You better st st stick up for yourself. Otherwise, you'll be killed. Instantly. Okay, he's getting robbed. Let's try for now. Well, at one decent person is trying to fix his goddamn house. Well, hello, sir. I wish you the best of luck. I wish you the best of luck indeed. What is this? A toilet. Well, it's a kind of... Um... Unprivate toilet? But a toilet nonetheless. Okay, it seems you're coming into more and more sketchy areas. What is that for a sign? What is that? What is that? We are not here yet. Hello? My name is, um, Mr. Charles Reed. Uh, what do you mean can't carry anymore? Since when do I, since when do I have too many bullets? Are you insane? We never have too many bullets. We just have too few bullets. Oh my god, 12 of 12. Seems silent. What was that sign? Was that the sign of the cultists? Can't carry anymore, damn it. I need to remember not to stack up my materials on maximum. That way we can probably find something and pick it up. Because it's a shame if we are low on everything and we do not, and we uh, pass by something but do not pick it up. Waste of materials. Hello? Anyone? Seems an awful place. Any secrets here? No secret walls? Okay. Okay. Secret trap doors. No. Mm. Can we climb this, Mr. Charles Reed? You cannot. Let's get back up. Since we cannot pick up anything, let's see what's completely at the top. That was a weird... That was a weird... It was a weird sound. It was sound of uh, something 
fucked up. What? Oh, oh, oh. Quickly, guys. There you go, this one. Oh, run. Oh, there's a big door. Let's run down quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Uh, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You are can blast. You're okay, but the big one there. Yeah. You don't like that, don't you? What the? <gasps> okay. It was fun. It was fun. It was uh? It was cute. Okay. Okay. So there is something fishy going on here, definitely, definitely. What is it? Something fishy. Secret letter. K, I believe, are, has forsaken us. Assuming, of course, any such being exists in the first place. Are we to die frightened? Are we to die mad? Death will be merciful indeed in the face of the second flood. There will be no rainbow to blossom over our corpses. The sea beckons to me in a way scripture never has. As she has always done since beasts who would be men oozed from their briny womb. I will go to seek her soon and draw her salt laded baptism, baptismal breath into my own lungs. May she forgive us for our herbis, your shepherd, Rev. Zachariah James Baker. What the f Well, that's. Definitely suspicious. Whatever that may be, I think that's some um, some cultist rarities. Well, it is indeed a rarity. I think it's a cultist something. Pretty pretty sure. Interesting. Oh, we found the very first. No, not evidence, but um, at least something, some information about what the cultists are doing here. Seems like they are praying to some kind of. A female god, or maybe someone with power, maybe someone like me with, with supernatural powers that just kind of claims their place here. Interesting. Nice start. Okay. Quick passing over. Anything crazy here? Nothing crazy? No, nothing crazy except those people at the uh, opposing side. Yeah, I'll take a picture of those. There are no gods in the depths. Oh. Is this the infested area? This is indeed a infested area. Can I climb back? I can. Can I see from here where there are interesting piles of loot? I could quickly use one or two. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, 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 okay. I get it. I get the point. I get the point. I get the point. Yes, yes, yes. Point proven. Point proven. Very solid. Very solid. Very solid. Oh, shit. He looks huge. Doesn't he? Oh, my sanity drops super fast. Let's not do that. Okay, let's quickly wait a second until our sanity is back up. Okay, okay. This is not the place, but we're almost there, I guess. Oh no, I just ran one street too early. Let's hide the gun. 
Let's do that inside the gun. Another infested area or the same. It's all I needed. It's all I needed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to jumping inside your area, but oh, we have got something new. We have got something new. We have got something new. A Molotov cocktail. The worst enemy of monarchs, capitalisms, and anything flammable. Rags. God damn it. Rags. And I need rags for the bombs as well. That's not amazing. Let's. Ooh. 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 ooh, ooh. Yeah, let's keep it like this for now. But we've got quite the equipment already, I see. This, uh, this is not the place, but this is livable. Of this is. Somebody lives here. I heard some human voice. Or was that just me? I heard it. Pretty sure I did. Some bullets, thanks. Very quick scavenge around, just very quickly. See. Oh, nice. See if there's something interesting here to collect. Alcohol. Okay, 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 okay. I get it, 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 I get it. It's fine, you don't want me here, you don't want me here, I get it. What was that? Okay, okay, enough. Enough, enough. I understand your your point. I understand it. It's okay. Point proven. But this is the warehouse. This is the warehouse. And who are you? You got business here. Oh yeah. I serve the sea. I serve the sea. Anna sent me here to investigate the recent break-in. I mm -hmm. <sighs> see be praised. Finally. I'm Daryl. Hi there. Grimes. How can I help you? Well, how can I help you? That is the that is that's the question, my friend. Just tell me you what tell happened. Tell me what happened. Don't skimp on the details. Yeah, not much to tell, sadly. It was a man, that much I know. He snuck in while I was upstairs, tried to steal the fishies, but I heard him. Nearly got him with a harpoon by K. What? But I missed in the dark. You need to shoot somebody for stealing. That, Dane. But I wonder, why steal what you can get for free? Yeah, I like his uh, voice. A puzzler. Uh, what did he steal? Anything? What did he steal? Nothing. I scared him off before he could. Can you describe what him? did this Anything. burglar look like? Same height as you. Not too big, not too small. Nothing to write home about. An average Joe. If not for his uh, bald head. That, that something? guy was as bald as an egg. I could see the moonlight reflecting off the top of his head. Classics. Uh, why all the secrecy? What's the deal with the, the password and such? Orders from the higher ups. I don't get to ask why. The higher ups are suspicious. Are fishy. Where higher did ups he go are fishy. after that? Fishy. Don't know, pal. He was way faster than me. Bye. All right. Well, that's enough for now, Mr. Grimes. I've got to go to work. Here, take the key. May the sea Again, everybody you. just keeps on giving us keys. So now, uh, what? Am, am I now the uh, the owner of? Uh, over this fine establishment. Quick scavenge. Quick scavenge. Thank you. Big guy again. Yep, big duty. Big duty. I'm out. Thank you. Oh, I hate these rats so much. It's vile sea creatures. Or shrimps or whatever. There we go. From soft. Okay. Fish. Sign of a fish. Anything I can immediately see, Scout? Here. Oakmont Gazetterie. Okay. Interesting. 
Let's reload the guns. We got a normal gun. We've got some nice Molotov cocktails. We've got some nice grenades. We've got traps. We've got bricks. I actually think we are stacked and good to go. Huh? Why? The why here? Freaking wild beasts. How are this is just so cult like? Is that a sign of a fish? That's a sign of an eye. There we go, there is one already. Come on, big guy. Come on, big guy. Stop moving. Did he just... Fast? Oh, he hit me. God damn it. Oh, again? What the hell is this? And again. That was so stupid that he went past it twice. Okay. That was very stupid. I didn't like that. That was very dumb. How can be a, such a creature so super smart? Hmm. What is this? Wow. It pierced a good inch of solid wood like it was nothing. That's a decent harpoon, yeah? Okay, let's go investigate if there's anybody else creeping about. No? Seems no crazy creatures. What is this? It's a toolbox. What were you toolboxing here around? This guy must really be into his hobby to have such impressive tools. Hmm, what is... Oh, interesting hobby indeed. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Good, what is this? A wood carving. Nice work. When I was a kid, I would have gone nuts for this. Well, if it was finished, that is. It's quite a good work in progress. That is from the orphanage. Dear Mr. Grimes, we can't thank you enough for what you do for the children in these dark times. Your toys go down like a tall glass of water. We all pray for your good health every day. We also kindly remind you that we still await your visit. All our staff, and of course children, are eager to finally meet our benefactor in person. So please don't hesitate and come as soon as you are able. With eternal gratitude, administration of Oakmont, St. Jerome's Orphanage. Hmm. Seems like this warehouse keeper is quite a uh, friendly man. Maybe. Maybe he is. Do we have... A little bit of a little bit of uh, equipment's too much. Yeah, let's make two of everything for now. Let's make a couple of everything so we don't overstack. So we uh, always keep a clean, um, eighty percent uh, stocked inventory. But if we find something, we can we can immediately. Uh, Pick it up, so we don't have to waste nothing. Okay, I don't see anything special anymore. Let's try going down. It's probably something at the bottom, but uh, and as request, an old and slimy key from Eudy Fish Storage. That is probably at the bottom. I'm pretty sure about that. What we have here gunpowder shells. Uh huh. What is this? That's a fancy looking bottle. Looks like it was taken from a lab somewhere. There's some kind of powder left on the bottom. I better not touch it. It could be dangerous. But we took it with us. Good to know. A real investigator. More bullets. The hall's fresh. Still smells of the sea. No signs of decomposition at all. Hmm. Maybe their secret is that they're using chemical ingredients to keep the fish fresh. Maybe they went for this specific ear that's gross for this specific reason. See if they could find 
Oh! What? 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 Thing's dead as a doornail, but I don't see any wounds. And here as well. There's so many secret spots here. Oh, you. So first it ate the fish, and now it's dead. That's troubling. <clears throat> he poisoned the fish. Poisoned the fish. Does he want to kill everybody in here? Why would you do that? What? I'm not done yet. What happened? Whoa. Why am I in this investigation world? I hope Professor Westerbrook never learns about this. Okay, I, apparently you've got all the clues. Just a little bit more. Oh, no. Whoops, you fucked up, man. Come back, you thief. I'll show you not to mess with us. Oh, m even more. Darn pests. Mayor, take them. Okay, let's see what we have here. Well, I guess. I huh. guess. This is one. I hope this Professor is Westerbrook never learned. Two. He made a noise where he was carving his uh, things. Darn then he pests. ran downstairs take them. and flung his harpoon. Come As back, he just got away. I'll show you how to mess with us. Yes. The man broke into the fish storage, poisoned the fish with an unknown substance, then made a noise which alerted the guard, who chased him out. Mm -hmm. But I'm not done yet. Not done yet. Not done yet. There is something special here. Yeah. I love secret walls. Oh. I love secret walls. Was a fly scared me. What is this? I have questions. Uh, yes. Stupid flies. Get away! Okay, uh, what, what can't I pick up? What do we have enough? Ah, uh, too much, too much shells. Can we quickly craft some? Thank you. Okay, let's go upstairs. Let's wait here a little bit. Before we go outside, let's see what we can investigate. So, still got the key, but the man broke in. It's understandable, we have to talk about it. Let's go to the mine palace. So the EOD is giving away free fish. Why? No clue. Found a lab flask. Some suspicious substance. The fish were poisoned with the lab flask. No? No. A mention of a professor and a lab flask. A man who broke into the EOD fish storage is somehow connected to the university. I need to visit the university. A secret chamber in the warehouse and the fish is poisoned. Large quantities of possibly poisoned fish have already been distributed to the city's poor citizens. EOD helps prevent famine. Poisoned fish is spreading. That's what we got. That's what we already got. Now, we need to go and investigate the university. We definitely need to go. Pin the evidence. And the... Uh, am I, I'm missing all the information again. God... Damn it, guys. Is this university? I think this is. Yeah, we gotta go there. Uh, let's place a compass marker. But once again, once again, I, th I think this was something that... No. I missed something, guys. Again. Again, I missed something. I've seen the fishies. I've seen this. Maybe I need to look more on the ground. More on the ground. That's, that, that's most of the times where I miss something. It's on the ground. 
No? Oh, I hate it. I get stressed if I can't find everything. Don't like it. Don't like it. Don't like it. Please. Let me find all the missing information. What did I miss? Don't like it. Maybe I need to talk. Maybe I need to talk. Mostly it's talking. This I've seen. We have seen everything here. Let's hope it's talking with the, uh, with the storage keeper. There's nothing here. Nothing here as well. This was clean as well. Here too. Okay, he took it. We've seen the books. We've seen this. We've seen that. Hmm. No. I don't know, guys. Let's go talk. Missed something again. What an idiot. You dig up anything interesting? I sure did. Turns out our friend here wasn't here to rob the place. He came to poison the fish. By the sea. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, that's what the evidence suggests, anyway. Okay. This is horrible. Please don't tell Anna it was my fault, or she'll have me quartered. Well, well what, what, what is quartered? Anna will quarter you. <laughs> You're joking about that, right? Wish I was. Anna. She's ruthless when it comes to punishing the guilty. EOD member or not. A little bit um, rough. I like it. Not huh. bad. Uh, no, I won't tell her. Don't worry. I won't tell her. You seem like a decent sort, Daryl. I'll, uh, I'll make something up. Thanks, Mr. Reed. Here's a little something to express my gratitude. Take care now. Still... I've done wrong and I deserve to be punished. I'll stay on guard duty for the next month without a day off. You have my word. All right, you, uh, you go ahead and do what you gotta do, I guess. Um, are we going to ask about this? No, let's just about university uh, first. Can you remind me where I can find the Oakmont University? You can't miss it. It's the greatest thing Oakmont has to offer. Except maybe our famous caramelized eel stew. Hmm. Give me your map. There you go. But don't forget to first report your findings to Anna. Before we go, promised him he owes me a favor, let's say so. And I'm going to keep his secrets. But. Wait, why is my volume so, so soft? Like. So. Let's ask about the middle chamber. I found we? a hidden room full of shackles and chains downstairs. Looks like some kind of torture chamber. Know anything about it? What? Stop talking, truck. That can't be true. I know this place top to bottom. Now, Daryl, you know I'm a detective. And if you're lying, I'm going to find out one way or another. I've got nothing to do with it, I swear, Mr. Reed. Go ask Anna. Mm. She's responsible for renting the place. Mm. I know nothing about this. Okay. Mm. I'll talk to Anna. We'll see if your story holds up. See ya. May the sea protect you. Very, very peculiar course of events. Very, very... The guard is afraid of Anna. I understand that. And I found what seems to be some holding pen. And torture from the warehouse. Um, am I going... Guys, give me five minutes. I quickly go back inside. The door won't budge. I will not go back inside. Let's go back to Anna. I wanted to find all the evidences. Because I don't like it when I don't. But it uh, seems like I can't anymore. That's on me. Can we fast travel there? No, we, we cannot. But, um... Is there any other phone booth here? Hello? Does this part of the town have a phone booth here? Hello, uh... Well-behaved gentleman. Do you have a phone booth? No, I'm not, I'm not going to give you any, uh, any, 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 any bullets. I need the bullets myself. But, let's have a talk with Anna. And this guy is still shouting. Okay. Uh, let's remove the marker. Anna, Anna, Anna. She's still standing there. 
Let's bring her quickly up to date. I've got news about your fish storage problem. Oh, it's I'm a little bit bigger than a problem now. It only looked like a robbery. Some guy broke into the storage to poison the fish. Near as I can tell, he succeeded, at least partially. I realize it's a lot to take on faith. But I've got a sample of what I think is the poison. Though I can't identify it yet. <sighs> See, protect us. That's terrible. Wh what kind of man would do such a thing, and why? She's I don't playing know, her role really but well, but that I aim to find her. out. I want to inside check We need her. to stop distributing the fish. We have to let everyone know about this. Kay knows how many people might already be affected. And yeah, the end of Poisoner. Any theories on who might have done this? Any enemies? <laughs> the EOD has a lot of enemies. Wicked people that want to burn this city or drown it in blood. How can you have enemies when you're just a charity? It could be the police, the Ku Klux Why? Klan, see, take them, or even the Throgmortons. We were always a thorn in the side of those apes. What do you want me to do with the Poisoner once I find him? I'd bring an end to him right there if I were you. The police and court are useless these days. She that wasn't the deal. Rude. I'm a detective, not a hitman. Fair enough. Fair enough. Report to me when you find him. I'll see that the reward will be more than handsome. If you know what I mean. Ooh, yes, I'll, let's go uh, finding. See what I can do. Oh, you we will we will look together, me. Mr. Reed. We will we will the look at the we storage, have four eyes. Darryl. We will look. Definitely. What was he doing at the time? Mm. He fought like a lion. Your guard was vigilant. He fought bravely, but the poisoner knocked him out. You ask me? He deserves a raise. Ooh. Good old dependable Daryl. I hope he's okay. I'll see he gets his due. But Goodbye, Charlie. That's a problem. We don't know if this little... Of the guard, if he's always, if he, if he had more of these unattentive hobby uh, moments that, that that they know about that he's a bad guard, but if they don't, maybe let's hope this does not um, bite us in the butt. I have found a holding pen in the storage. I found me. what looks suspiciously like a dungeon in the basement of your fish storage. Care to explain? Excuse me, you found what? A dungeon. Chains, shackles, and blood. Ring any bells? Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about, but it sounds awful. We, we only started renting the place a few weeks ago. Goodness. I'm going to have to ask our landlord several uncomfortable questions, it seems. Thanks for the heads up, Charlie. Not going to trust her for a single See you later. bit. Not going to trust her for a single, single bit. A bit. Yeah, let's go to the university, guys. I think that's the best thing. We did it. We reported it. Mind play is still the same. Let us go straight to university. We have a... Is that far away university? It is. Let's... Hey, how are you doing? You want a fishy? No, actually. Uh, you gotta have to talk to Anna about your fishies, by the way. It may, might be a small... Uh, inconvenience. A small inconvenience with your fishies. Who's the smally one? Uh, university. Let's go. But shouldn't we go to... University has labs as well. Don't they? Uh, is it not the library? Library. There's a library. The lib library. That's the university pay. Oh, we need to go there. Oh my god, we need to go there. We need to go there. Uh, casebook. Yeah, we need to go to a lab. A laboratory. Are there anywhere laboratories? What is this? Are these other houses? Well, I don't think a hospital could be, but the university is mostly the research part. So, uh, we're actually better off going back there and then running. Yeah, let's do that. Kind of misjudge the distance. This is, this is the university library. It's not the university itself. Okay, let's quickly go back. Left. Oh no, do we have to go through the... Yeah, we have to go through the um, infested region. 
anything we need to craft? No, there's nothing we can craft actually. We've got everything. We've got a little bit of everything. Make a couple of these, a couple of these. There we go. Up, off we go. <sighs> Left, right, yeah, quickly. Pick it up. Ra oh, rags. I like it that there are always like small su supply crates. Just the beginning. Oh shit. I'm sorry. That scared the hell out of me. Uh, what are you doing here, sir? You're lost? Ooh. A little bit scary though. Those big beasts are, uh, something up. Not yet, uh, oh my god. Not yet, uh, ready for. Huh, wow. Uh, straight to the university, I guess. Beautiful new piece part of town, but yeah, not as beautiful as the central part. Seems that like the reed heights are not that um, well kept, except for the university. It looks kind of solid, I must say. Even oh man, everything it has a, a winter feeling to it. Not rain, winter. nothing let's go inside and see if we can ask somebody to look into our um oh close for maintenance hello welcome to to the university of oakmont uh, how can i help you need to speak professor westerbrook looking for professor westerbrook you know where i can find him you're you're, you're the one bringing him the sp specimen uh specimen Oh, oh n never mind. Uh, uh, he, he's in the de Department of Medicine. Uh, l let me show you. Tell me about this flask. You recognize this bottle? You know where it comes from? It, 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 sorry. <laughs> we have hundreds of bottles like this in the university. Uh, fine. I need to know what's in it. Any suggestions? Ah, uh, you need an, an analysis. I'm sure someone from the Department of Medicine c c can help there. Thank you very much. You have a very friendly of you, sir. G g goodbye, sir. I uh, will keep an eye on you. We'll definitely keep an eye on you. Medicine. That's there. That's the. I'm gonna quickly go there. Unlock the phone booth. Where's the phone booth? There's the phone booth. There we go. There we go. Got it. Now, Department of Medicine. Department of Medicine is the building there. Interesting dome. Astrology or a. Uh... Oh, yeah. Hello? Hello? Wendell sent you to deliver me the books, right? Um. Everybody must have me now. confused with someone else. Oh, excuse me. I'm just worried for the fate of these tomes. It's been a week without news from Wendell. Maybe you can help me. I'd reward you, of course. Show us a problem. Oh, marvelous. Let's get acquainted then. Samuel Hoops, honorary member of Altera Pa's book club. Charles Reed, private eye. Good, good. Listen, we're missing three rare books. One was taken for restoration while the other two were being studied. I asked Wendell to contact all parties, but he's gone quiet. I'm here to investigate records. crazy Please stuff, man. Retrieve the tomes. Not books. They're so very valuable. Okay. Why are they so valuable? They're the third, seventh, and ninth tomes written by the humble servant. The collection of all eleven books is our most prized possession. The author's real name is a mystery, but we know that he was an Oakmonter for sure. Okay. Bye. Do you know what I know, my friend? Is the fact that your books are so wet outside in the rain behind the fountain. That's your problem, man. Your books are gonna get fucked even if I bring them. I'm sorry, your books are not going to survive. Time that I get back. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. That's his own problem. Uh, this is the entrance. I hope it is. Hello? 
Finally, no gun blasting, but don't mind me. Quick reload. Thank you. You gotta be safe. Ah, office reception laboratory. Hello. Hello, sir. Welcome to Oldmark University Department of Medicine. Hello. I'm Samuel. Nice to meet you. Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. I have a few questions if you don't mind. Uh, the flask, please. You recognize this bottle? Maybe you could tell me what's inside. Hmm. That's one of our lab bottles. Okay. We have a lot of them. As for what's inside, I'd need to run some tests. Please do so. Uh, could you do that for me? These tests aren't cheap. And the other day, I could get right to it, but we're, uh, somewhat hindered right you now. You need something to be done, what's yes? Up? Our lab is crawling with, well, creatures. Professor Westerbrook's research is a little unconventional, and something went wrong. Really wrong. Okay, I can solve so that. No problem. So, if I do a little pest control for you, you'll run those tests for me. For free? Our budget is tight. You'd be helping the cause of science, Mr. Reed. Isn't that enough? You? Oh, I guess science You will be help helping itself. in the cause of solving right. murder yes. and poisoning. You solve all problem, and I'll run the test for you. Off the books. Here's the key for the basement. And another Welcome key. Welcome to the Department of Medicine. We are Mr. Reed, private key collector. We've got many of those by now. Think by the end of uh, this solving of mysteries, we will have keys to everyone. DOD is banned. To all staff and students of the University of Oakmont. Henceforth, any mention of the Everyone's Obvious Duty Organization, also known as EOD, is symbolics. Current and or past members, as well as espousing their belief, is forbidden on universal grounds on pain of dismissal and or expulsion. Administration has received numerous reports of EOD activity and outreach disguises as so-called charity work throughout our university and all over Oakmont. This dangerous activity has reached epidemic proportions and cannot be tolerated. Very interesting, I must say. That's something, um... That's something we haven't uh, heard yet about. Um... This down? What is that? Does he have a huge creature? I want to see that. What? You have found such a big creature. <laughs> I'm glad this thing is dead. Whoa. Why do they even keep it here? I must admit, man, that is crazy of you guys having a creature like that here. Experiment log part 2, March the 10th. With those pesky limitations removed, I can finally continue my experiments in Hindred. I need to know more. The specimens remained alive even with half of the internal organs removed. That is fascinating. I'm on the verge of a breakthrough in biology as we know it. March 15th. I developed a way to reanimate this, their tissue, even one that's been dead for weeks. This is monumental. The possibilities of, of it, the implications. Does this hint at something hidden, some trait present inside other creatures or perhaps even ourselves? I need to find volunteers. Oh no, that word? That word? Nope. Do we need to find what volunteers? What kind of person would even touch this? Not to mention dissect it. Experiment log part one. I finally received the living specimen, sadly. It's only the smallest one. But I think it needs proper name. Okay. I was thinking about the name of the specimen all night. I've begun a series of experiments on the creature. So far it has proven exceptionally resistant to all the poisonous substances at my disposal. As well as acid and electrocution. It shrieks, though it is bound to haunt me. 
Last night I had a vision, thousands of hands wrapped around me as a blanket and I heard the name inside my head, Stygian Harvester. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to press any buttons Some right now. equipment they've got here. Oakmont University is clearly well funded. Our sanity drops by the second each time we stay near those beasts. Anything secret? Let's really pick this up. Uh, what do you... We have picked up gunpowder, I think. Monsters are cleared. We'll double check this in a second, guys. Uh, this mine place. Inventory. Um, craft. There we go. Maximum of these. Rags. Ra it's a big, the biggest problem is just rags, guys. Straight up rags. Biggest problem. Reload. Reload. That's... I wonder what would happen if I press this button. Should I or shouldn't I? Press it. So very tempting. Press it. Oh, fuck. Oopsie! <laughs> that was uh that thing took that thing uh yeah two grenades and two fire uh, things wow that was uh, intense okay uh I don't think the doctor is going to be all that happy though ah shit. Ah, shit. Hey, Doc. Nothing happened. It did not oh, hear much. any explosion or anything. Uh, but it's okay now. Your lab is certified creature-free. Excellent, Mr. Reed. You've done us a great favor. Now we can get things up and running again. Uh, you're this. Well, I'm not going to say anything. Okay. I've done my part. Here's the bottle. Now you run those tests. Uh, yes. Wait here. It shouldn't take long. We finished that analysis, sir. It's, well, it's ricin. Ricin? What? A highly toxic poison extracted from castor beans. It's slow acting, but absolutely fatal to humans. Why? So, where do you get ricin? This isn't something you can pick up from a drugstore. Ah, uh, about that. It is rare, but we have a certain amount of it here. For study, in our poison store. Or we did. I'm afraid that must be where it came from. The label had been tampered with, but it certainly looks like ours. Where did you find it? Ah, crime scene. Someone was trying to poison a bunch of fish with it. This is horrible. I need to warn everyone in the university about this. Antidote? There's some kind of cure for ricin? I'm afraid not. Once it's in your system, it's a death sentence. Shit, who has this? What symptoms? How can you tell if someone's been poisoned with ricin? The symptoms take several days to develop. At first, it's like a common cold. But over several days, well, it develops into hemorrhage. Internal organ failure and death. It's not a pleasant way to die. I think he wants to create more of those beasts. Who's got access to where the poison's stored? Only Professor Westerbrook has the key. His office is upstairs, right alongside Professor Cavendish's. Professor Westerbrook's not here, though. He's been sick for the last few days. Suspicious. Professor Cavendish is away as well, on vacation. And where do they live? I'm not sure, but probably somewhere in Advent. Most of the teaching staff live there. Wait, you don't think it was one of them? I'm working on that. Can you let me upstairs? I... well... All right. This is serious. Yeah, man, people are going to I'll die. Here's the key. 
but please don't disturb the professor's things. Messed up one of his experiments. Can you fill me in on Ryson again? Of course. What do you need to know? Ah, okay, I have that already. Okay, no, no, we got everything. Uh, tell me the professor. I'd like to know. What do you want to know? Tell me about Westerbrook. I want to know more about Westerbrook. He's the head of our department. Okay. He's been here for, well, at least thirty years. That's He's one of the time. longest serving staff we have. As you've already seen, he's particularly interested in the wild beast that recently appeared in our city. Yeah, that's quite the unique fauna you have there. I've no idea how he did it, but Mr. Throgmorton's men brought him live specimens for his research. He thinks he's on the verge of a breakthrough in evolutionary theory. A secret that once revealed will benefit all humankind. Or uh, some not. Some should stay buried six feet under. You're not a man of science, are you? It's not about why. It's about what if. Okay, good. What if Professor Cavendish... What can you tell me about Professor Cavendish? He's one of the most brilliant teachers we have here. A PhD at only 25. Just imagine. His biochemistry studies are second to none. Worthy of a Nobel Prize. If he could complete his work. What's his problem? I don't know. There's some kind of family trouble. It's made him standoffish and irritable, and easily distracted. I hope he gets through whatever he's going through. We need his talent, especially in these dark times. Okay. I'll see you later. Thank you for the information, man. Um, though it is all very much weird, I'm going to pick up my gun. This guy has probably a lot of those beasts in his office. Lights on. Hello? Professor Eden Westbrook. No rags, no rags. Hmm. Okay, and is there your nameplate? No. Let's see, this is Westerbrook. What do you have here? Note from Professor Westerbrook. This is absurd. It's been five months and I still haven't finished repairing my office. I'm done sitting in the corridor like some kind of waiter. I won't step foot into this building again until the works are finished. Or you give me Cavendish's office. You tell that to, to the board. I'm through with this farce. Okay. He is not happy. I did not receive a key to that closed door, but we all know that there are more keys than just you know, the classic key, guys. We can always, always use a shovel. Always. Draft of an article, brothers and sisters crossed out to familiar, my fellow Americans, they're Americans too, sins of Oakmont, how much longer will we be put up with this fish-faced beasts, those sea freaks, how much longer will we put up with those, those cave-forsaken degenerates who call themselves EOD, okay, there is once more, oh, interesting, this should be good enough to make a decent copy. That is odd. That is odd. But say hi. <sighs> the door won't budge. These bottles look exactly the same as the one with the poison. We found it. Found it. Hmm, this place is locked though. Let us quickly. Side cases. Find the books, find the books. Find... That's not the thing that we want to do now. Right now. We want to go to the mind place and start looking. George Cavendish made a spare key. Westbrook has access to poison. George Cavendish, a professor of Oakmont University, is the poison thief. He made himself a copy of the key to the poison locker. According to his student, he lives somewhere in Advent. So, Cavendish. Okay. A secret chamber in the warehouse. EUD ranks are swelling. Hmm. 
nothing with this yet. Okay, what do we need to do? We need to go probably to the main town hall and see where he lives. Uh, that's what we need to do. Okay, this is getting very... Oh, this is getting all so entangled and messed up. Um, okay, thank you. I'm done here. Thank you very much for your aid. Let us see. The advent. That's somewhere here. So our best guess is just to go straight to the university hall. Yeah, that's probably the best. And I think I'm gonna go use the uh, fast travel and unlock it at the same time. Hmm, guys, this is getting all suspicious. Why would they want to poison people? Unless they want to do it, especially for creating more of those creatures, because the professor wants more specimens or whatever. But then, I mean, he can just ask Rob Morton to bring him samples. Like alive specimens, that doesn't seem to be like a problem. So I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Let me see it. That's um, and a lot of questions, a lot of questions. Anyways, let's go uh, look up his address. <sighs> this is very, very weird, guys. Very weird. I'm going to pin, uh, no, I'm going to pin this thing. Let's go. Oh no, that's the that's the grumpy lady again. Oh, stop bothering me, newcomer. Hey. A little more friendly. We need the district in the advent. Register citizen records. Citizens. George Cavendish. George Walter Cavendish. January 26th, 1883. Oakmont Mass. Oakmont Mass. Advent Central Street. Professor of Biology. We got him. No. Wrong. This. Wrong. Advent Central. Somewhere here. On St. Michael's Road. St. Michael's Road is this one. Between Carpenter Street. Between Carpenter Street is this one. And Constitution. Constitution Street. Flat number two. He is on the edge. There he is. Let's walk up to his house. I want to see what he is doing. Extra, extra. What do you have to tell me? Anything? Hmm. Weird people. And it's always so dark and always so goddamn wet. I hate it. Hey, that's a house. Nothing else, so to see. Flat number two. Well, there is a light on over there. Hello? It's an apartment, so it's probably not on the main floor. What is this? The door won't budge. Hmm. Let's quickly have a look. If you want it, take it. It's free. What? That's weird. I'm sorry. It's the only one living here. Okay. Hello. Please, no monsters. Hello? I'm Charles Reed. Okay. Seems so far it's uh, no guns blasting. I loved you. I always loved oh, you. Oh no, have you lost your loved ones? Is that the reason why I do everything? And have you decided to poison everyone now, the whole city? Evidence. The professor fact list. Westerbrook usually has his lunch about half past two. Get some soap. Anna always stays at the fish market. She shouldn't learn about me. 
New haul of fish arrive every two days. An ounce per box will be enough. The guard spent most of his time on the second floor during the night, thinking about a way to divert suspicious from Westbrook. Don't want him to come any harm. Don't forget to return the flask to storage. Think about plan B. Newspaper issue. Going, going, gone. Body count rises as vanishing continues across Oakmont. Locals are in panic, with most of the reported disappearances occurring in the shells. Salvation Harbor, the Grimhaven Bay, Capit Captain Caleb Lyon of the Oakmont Police has put out a call for information. Our evidence suggests a link between the disappearance and the charity organization EOD that has recently risen to prominence among the city's poor. Most of the victims seem to have either joined this group or have been recipients of their alums. We encourage anyone with information to come forward. The Chronicles remind readers to avoid any suspicious newcomers, especially in Smilders. Stay alert. This Cavendish guy did an impressive investigation. And the EOD is in the center of all of it. Disturbance in the shells as fighting breaks out between locals and Innsmouthers. The cause of the conflict appears to be a disappearance of several women, with local accusing of a group of Innsmouthers of the crime. The Oakmont police continue to investigate the vanishing, but as yet the case remains unresolved. One source from the shells reports that traces of fish scale and seaweed were found in multiple victims' homes, which seem to have precipitated the fight. Oh, okay. this Cavendish guy did an impressive investigation. He did the quite EOD well indeed. In the center of all of it. But it is a, a it is a professor, non Ali. It is a professor. He knows smart man. He can put one and one together, I guess. Or even one and three and four and five in mysterious ways. And judging by the layer of dust on it, this ring hasn't been worn in a long time. I why keep it around? He probably lost his wife, man. And he wants to... Wants to pay revenge. George, I can't live like this anymore. There's something I have to tell you. <gasps> Is that Anna? I don't care what your damn EOD cult demands, Anna! I thought the child was mine. <gasps> mine! <laughs> uh... She had another man, she cheated you on him. You will never understand our cause! My child is blessed by the sea! I'm leaving you, George! Okay, let's see what we have here. George? Let's... I don't care what An you're- You will never of understand our cause! My child is blessed by the sea! I'm leaving you, you George! You cheated, woman. George Cavendish. He had a wife named Anna. She had a baby that was not his, but blessed by the sea and claimed by the EOD. This caused their split. <laughs> Mr. Reed? You're passing out on very dangerous domain, my friend. What is the face in the back? It's a big spouter. Who? Who are you? Well, what are you doing here? Calm down. My name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator. Right now, you look like someone who's breaking into my house. A, a, a burglar. I explain yourself. Easy there. Calm oh, no. down. Anna from the fish market asked me to find you. You know her, right? I should have guessed. I know her much better than you think. What does she want from me now? She already took everything I have. It's not about what she wants. It's about what you did. 
Poisoning the fish. Sound familiar? Yeah, I can prove you did it. Hold on. Before you jump to conclusions, I want you to know that I had a good reason to do what I did. It all comes back to Anna. Tell me what about Anna. What's oh. Anna got to do with all this? As you might have already gleaned, she is... was my wife. Yeah, we're an investigator. Uh -huh. Yeah, it all starts to come together now. The EOD robbed me of her. It all started with the free fish. We were all short on food at the time, and then they hooked her with their nonsense about the benevolent sea and greater good. I looked past it for some time, but then... She became pregnant. Yes. Not by you. At first, I was over the moon. But then one day she came to me, that snake, and told me that the child was not mine. She said it was blessed by the sea. That it was demanded by the EOD. I don't want to know what gross things they Doomed did there. take them. The cult and so I many women. I couldn't stand it. I just couldn't. Oh, this should be fun. What's your good reason for poisoning innocent people? You know the EOD are feeding the hungry, don't you? No. Oh, that's exactly the problem. They're not doing it out of charity. They do it to spread their influence and recruit new members. Okay. Some of those initiates, as they call them, vanish without a trace. And not just them. They kidnap ordinary folks, too. And poisoning the fish would prevent this how? Oh, you see, not everyone in this city believes in the EOD yet. Ooh, this is they a have lot. opposition among the citizens, both rich and poor. A rumor of the EOD's fish being poisonous and several incidents would be enough to undermine the EOD by sparking fear and mistrust. There must be another way to deal with the EOD. Look, if their crimes are that obvious, why don't you just go to the police? <sighs> They're resourceful, those sons of hagfish. They maintain a squeaky clean image and Kay... They're good at it. I tried going to the Big police. organization. They were no help Can't at do all. it. And I'm not suicidal enough to make it public and take them to court. What does blessed by the sea what mean? What did she mean? Been an idea. Blessed by the sea. What do you think is the cause of Innsmouth Syndrome in people? Uh, living in Innsmouth? That K-forsaken place has nothing to do with it. It comes from breeding with monsters. Oh, gross. These sea creatures they call Deep Ones. They take our women and they spoil them with their seed. Then they give birth to degenerate fish-faced offspring. When do you know that? Where did you learn all of this? This information about the EOD? After Anna left, I had nothing. But I did have a lot of time to research Innsmouthers, the EOD, and the story behind them. It is an old and powerful organization. They appeared back in the mid-19th century in Innsmouth, and the first people with the Innsmouth Syndrome started showing up around that same time. Oh my. Ah, uh, perhaps not coincidentally. No, uh, of course not. And the EOD is immensely rich. The sudden rise to power of the Blackwood family happened right after they joined them. That's so what's your next move? That's a I disturbing thing, actually. was interrupted and couldn't finish my task. The EOD received a fresh haul of fish, but now they're on alert and raised their guard. I understand I'm in no position to ask. But after reviewing all the facts I've presented to you, Mr. Reed, would you agree to help me? He does not deserve to die at all. Keep I'm talking. listening. Half, he has me convinced. From me? Poison the rest of the fish. No. It's spreading, but it's not enough. The EOD trusts you enough to deal with me, so it should be simple for you. My agent inside the EOD reports that they've just received a fresh haul. That's your target. I need a f I'm. I kill him, or I kill somebody else. 
either options are me killing someone. I mean, did this is kill him, this is kill somebody else. But I personally am convinced by this guy. Let's Your just go with helping him. inside the EOD. Is he fairly high up the ranks? Ah, I see where this is going. You need something from the EOD too. Yes. Yeah. I'm trying to find a certain person who may be held by them. My, my agent can arrange that. If someone is being held by the EOD, he'll know it. It's a win-win situation. All right, look. I'm gonna need to think about this. Uh, of course. But don't be too long. I'm going to need an answer before I let you go. I hope you can understand why. Put the puzzles together, guys, quickly before we end this episode, because I need the time to think as well. Mind plays. The guard is a friend of Anna. AOD suspects crimes. Poisoning was a sabotage. Secret chamber in the warehouse explains a lot. EUD ranks are swelling and Anna was pregnant. No. Guards are afraid of Anna. Anna Cavendish is a zealous servant of EOD and she will follow any strings without hesitations. A filthy liar. Anna Cavendish is covering up the EOD's shady ambitions to take over the city. Anna Cavendish dishonesty. No, she is li in my opinion, she is a liar. But we are not done yet. We are not done yet. We have a couple of things to go over yet. Um, the poisoning. George sabotaged the EOD. George Cavendish poisoned the fish to undermine the EOD's charity things. A desperate savior. George Cavendish became desperate after EOD robbed him of his wife. He's determined to save others from the same fate. George Cavendish, a dangerous psychopath. He won't hesitate to kill innocent to achieve his goals. Ah, uh, both. But there is no middle option, so we'll go with left. The EOD is... Uh, EOD's operations are shady. EOD has much more going on than charity organizations. They are dirty. I know it. Uh, whatever they're up to is no good. I should help George Cavendish to lose the EOD's grip on the city. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to change it. No. No. Not going to so. change it. I've made up my mind. I'll help. Your methods stink and your plans And I'm not going stinks. to lie. Just straight. Still, the EOD is a threat. And I'm not going to help them anymore. I'm in. Oh. <sighs> You're doing a great favor for this city, Mr. Reed. Never doubt uh. that. Yeah, I'm trying not to. Remind me what it is I have to do. You need to poison the fresh haul of fish at the EOD storage. It's heavily guarded. But you'll figure out something, I've no doubt. I'll be back later. I need to see my agent. Find me after you're done. Here's the address and some ricin. Be very careful with it. Yeah, will do. I'm not quite ready to die yet. Wow, guys. That is a lot to process. That is so much. We have our hands in something big. Something very big. Yes? Do you need something? Oh my god. I'm not, I'm, I'm, it's like he said, and the plan is bad, killing people is bad, everything is bad, but, uh, the EOD, stealing women, impregnating them, um, brainwashing everybody else to do the same, taking over the whole city this way is messed up as well, and if I may pick a side, not being quite neutral, I would prefer Throgmorton's side. But we don't know his story either either because he killed his wife as well so that's messed up too oh my god guys it's a good thing it's the end of the episode now i have time to think what crazy actions we will do i think we can still even i think we can still even go talk to anna and report george or we can go poison the fish guys what a decision what a decision what a decision uh if you have any decisions guys for um before i do something crazy or uh no we, we can always just see what happens anyways guys we'll see we will see we will see we will see thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed it hope you liked it guys hope you had a relaxing evening as always don't forget to like subscribe drop a comment down below i will see you in the next 
probably crazy ass episode. Have a good day, everyone.